Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick little video which I kind of pre-started ahead so I my apologies. I wasn't really going to and then I was like no you really really should. Um, I just so happened to went to my Lowe's today and um, they had a display of African violets. There weren't many. I don't know if this is the same as the same batch as the last one. Maybe they got more than what I knew about because they come in like a like a square I don't know how many is on them um if you buy a lot of Optimeras you might be familiar with what I'm talking about it's kind of hard to explain you know how like when you go to the grocery store they come in like certain boxes like in amount well it kind of comes in like a certain tray in amount maybe they got more than one tray I know I've not gotten any like an alert besides the last one but who knows but so I did pick up this one um they had a lot of the ones that look pretty much the same so obviously I couldn't pick up like armfuls because if they were all different I probably would end up leaving there with every single one of them um ignore the way it looks right now I knew when I picked this up that it did not look very well I wasn't sure if I could save it but there's one reason why I kept it, and obviously, I did not bring that with me. So let me pause and bring out the thing that, the reason why I picked it up. Well, um, not only because it looked like something, you know, like, it wasn't like a, you know, like a single double. It looked like it would be, or a single, but like ruffled, you know, like more than just one, like a few petals. Um, it had this on here. Which, I know some people are going to be like, well, that doesn't mean anything. Um, I am going to check. I'm pretty sure that this matches this one. But Optimeros don't really put, like, name tags on these for certain reasons. Because of just producing a lot of these, people can mix them up. And this could technically not even be My Delight, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's My Delight. Um, I actually, <laughs> I have an Orchid that has like a tag that's similar than this and it it doesn't really say what it is it just basically was saying like where that section is called so i kind of call it my special one because it's got like a little tag with it and they don't really normally come with a tag but anyway I, you know it's special i'm weird but i i've not not been you know <laughs> i've not denied it so what I've done already, um, it came in the usual, like, container. Um, because it was so floppy, um, and because the last one that I knew was wet that was kind of floppy, um, I kind of let it sit and dry out. And I ended up losing it, and I kind of regret not doing what I knew I should have, which was take off the roots and just kind of, you know, decapitate it. And kind of let it form its own roots. So that way, no, like, if your root ball is kind of damaged by too much water, instead of waiting for it to come all the way up to, you know, the root, or the main root, you know, because there's, like, they usually, I don't know, I know that somewhere, because I looked for it, they kind of have, like, a little nub. It kind of looks like this, but it's bigger. Um, right, well, I know it's here somewhere. It looks like that right there. It's like a nub. It's like a base. Kind of like if you um, plucked off a leaf. It kind of looks like this part of the leaf. It's just a big nub with a bunch of leaves stuck on it. I just went on a major tangent explaining a nub. <laughs> um, this looks pretty good. So I kind of stopped picking at it. Um, I got as much as I could off of it. Because... Um, just because of the, the frumpiness of it, I'm trying to save it rather than kill it because, you know, I'm calling it a special one now because it's got a tag. Even if it just had a bunch of numbers on it, I would still call it my special one because of the tag. Um, I, like we, like I've stated, I'm weird like that. So, um, and yes, I've lost one because I kind of didn't cut off the roots and it just gradually slowly started killing the violet which there's nothing left of it except for a leaf which I don't think I'm going to get anything to be grown out of it so we're going to do one of those little can we save it kind of things and it's 
it's pretty rough looking. It did have a bunch of like dead flowers on this. Um, I'm not sure what is up with that. That kind of makes me slightly nervous. That might not be anything. Um, I do have a few that's had that kind of marking with the newest ones I've gotten. So we're going to, I'm actually, so my plan of attack of what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my newspaper method, which I find this soaks up water from two wet, um, African violet plants. Um, cause these can get pretty, they can get pretty wet, um, a little bit too soaking if for me I do and when I say this I don't want to offend Optimaris because it works in their environment and I'm sure they have a different moisture humidity than what I have so it's nothing against them you know when I say and do these different things if your environment is not as humid as mine is, because mine right now is just a little bit over 60%. So I have to be very, very cautious, especially now that it's getting into fall. So things are, the moisture is going to start picking up for me. Um, I have to be very aware of how wet my plants are. And I have a lot of plants. Um, my environment in this house is a little bit higher in humidity. And I also have a very large fish tank in this room. Actually, two of them, but the other one's not that large. So there is a lot of moisture, plus having a, about 200 plants just on the shelf in general. So I have a lot. So I'm just throwing that out there as a precaution. You know, take into consideration how humid your environment is, your home, the season. Because mine changes even with the season. Like... So, yeah. Um, and then there's things that I do to lessen the amount of humidity, which changes the environment like I did over the winter, which drastically changed the moisture in the section of the house. But anyway, it's a long, even longer tangent. So I'm going to let it, this little part sit and just dry out. You know, take a nice long soak in a drying process. We're having a minor vacation, pretending that this is the sun and we're just drawing every bit of moisture out of this. Not every bit. Um, I was trying to be cute and funny and now I'm thinking people are going to be putting, don't put this in the sun. Um, <laughs> so I'm just letting it soak up whatever moisture I still have. Just letting it do its thing. Um, because I don't want any more moisture affecting the root ball and the the nub we'll call it the nub um because i do not want to hurt or affect or damage this anymore um i probably shocked it a little too much by taking a lot of the soil and roots off um i just kind of went down and if it fell off it fell off um plus i kind of really wanted to get to the nub part to see just how well things were if i was trying not to kill it um, and when I say try not to, sometimes you end up killing it. I do have some suckers that I'm actually going to leave on here for now. Um, there is actually some leaves I could probably get rid of right now, but I'm going to leave them just to see what they would do. Um, cause you just never know. Some, I have, I've left things alone before and they've bounced back and I've, I've had some that doesn't, I'm going to say plants are a lot like people you can get along with some people and there are some you can't get along with and even these guys there are some that I have no problems with and there are some African violets that I have problems with and some that I don't I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself um my phone's blinking at me now so I'm going to let this hang out for a day or two um and then I'm going to repot it in this I might make a short video about that just to like go with the process um because sometimes I don't finish these like can we save it and I'm sure people are like well whatever happened to that um some of them I'm not sure if I really label them correctly because I have no idea where they went to um I know there's some in some videos that I'm like I know I made a video on that one but I have no idea which violet it is right now or where I packed it away because I do have some that are like as I call it incubating um they're in a container with the cover marinating in their own juices as I say um so 
this is what we're doing. We're going to try to save this one. Good luck to us. Thanks for watching.